Hey, what's up everybody? The Rye Man here, coming to you with another Persona 3 FES video. We shall go on a date with Elizabeth. Oh yeah. Ah, I've been expecting you. Shall we be on our way? She wants to see our high school, so... Gekko Khan High School. A place of learning. It comes as quite a shock that such a warm, luminous place transforms into Tartarus each night. Indeed, indeed. Hmm. What should I do? Everyone here seems to be wearing a predetermined uniform. I may draw too much attention to myself. I hope this won't pose a problem. Eh, you could just pose as one of the teachers. Don't worry. Understood. I shall heed your advice. Now then, excuse me as I make myself less conspicuous. Elizabeth moves, moved very close behind you. If I stay hidden from view this way, there will be nothing to worry about. That's about the equivalent of me putting my hands over my face and saying, Where's the baby? Now, onward and into the school. Quite excited, aren't you? Literally, it's the equivalent of me putting a hand over my face thinking I'm hiding, like, properly. This is a surprise. To find a bastion of commerce inside a house of learning. Could you please wait here for a moment? There's something I've been curious about for a while. Please dump like all your money there. Excuse me, I'd like to purchase a school lunch. Oh, uh, yes? Elizabeth seems to be requesting something unreasonable. Uh, those aren't sold here. They only sell bread. Those aren't sold here. They don't handle those here. How disappointing. I would have liked to taste these school lunches in their native environment. Notice how those kids are looking at us in the background? I suppose I can settle for bread. I've heard that having bread for lunch can be a pleasure in itself. Elizabeth, Elizabeth seems to have bought bread. Now that we're done here, I'd like to see your home room. I'm all for that. Ikari and Junpei are gonna be there, aren't they? This is a classroom. So many desks and students, with such a limited amount of space between them. Yeah, they do invade my personal bubble. But perhaps... Yes, I see. It's designed this way to foster a sense of harmony with others. Or purposely pop bubbles, like I said. I can feel the careful thought and foresight from whoever arranged things this way. This observation post must be what they call a podium. I see. Standing behind it does cause a longing to teach to well up inside of me. Oh, please. Please do something. First question. Diet food or super diet food? Which is tastier? Oh, God. Super diet food. That is correct. As a reward for giving the correct answer, you will receive your own portion of super diet food. Hooray! Wow, she really did give me super diet food. Is this what a classroom lecture is like? <laughs> Not nearly as fun, and they don't give away stuff. I'm feeling rather uneasy with so many eyes on me. So let us move on with the tour. She decided to walk around the school with Elizabeth. Man, what, uh, what kind of reaction would we have gotten from like Hikari or Fuka or Junpei if we walked in with Elizabeth? Class? 
music music club. <laughs> Whoa! You walked around the school of Elizabeth. Nice dive, by the way. That was awesome. That's pretty slick. Now that I've experienced student life, my outlook on your world has broadened even further. I'd be happy to accompany you again anytime. <sighs> Although, to be honest, I don't entirely understand my own motives in wanting to come here. But while walking so closely beside you, I... How should I express this? I felt very fulfilled. Perhaps what I really wanted to learn at school was more about you. Elizabeth Social Link, do it. But why? In any case, discovering the reasons behind this desire should provide an intriguing diversion for me. Well, that was a nice little date, nice little break from reality. And back into the depths of strangeness. <laughs> Thank you for showing me around the high school. I'm slowly beginning to understand why being there lifted my spirits. The Gaokin isn't just part of your world. It's a place where you spend time on a daily basis. A place saturated with your presence. That's why I... I'll leave that aside for now. It requires further consideration. Instead, let me give you a reward. It's another special gift. With this, you can fuse Hellbiker. He's a frightful man, but he's also a part of you. Like the rest, he emerges from the sea of your soul. Cool, got an item to have a new persona. Uh, persona. Alright, let's accept a new one then. A neglected patch of flowers, huh? Sure. I guess I could go take a look. See if I can find those flowers. That was weird. Just kind of derped out. Alright, where would the flowers be? Somewhere in front, right? Let's look for flowers specifically. I'm sure there's somewhere outside, so... Just gotta look around here, and hopefully we'll come across something. Okay, I couldn't find uh, where those patch of flowers were, so we're just going to hang out with Ikari. It's a bummer, but it'd be what it do. Hello, Cordo. How are you guys doing? Same, same thing. Yeah, it'd be Sunday. Which means we cannot go and get that Sengoku helmet. Again. Alright, let's see what's on the Tanaka show then. I'm probably not going to be able to afford it because I spent so much money. <laughs> Yeah, I can't buy it. That's a bummer. I totally screwed myself by going on a massive shopping spree. I remember how Ikutsuki-san would tell the most horrible jokes all day long, but he was just pretending. That wasn't his true self. Do you think he really enjoyed the times we all spent together? No one can answer that now. Who cares? All we need to know is that he betrayed us. I'll never forgive him. 
I will refer to him as simply as Akutsuki from now on. Akutsuki never mentioned anything about his plot, even when we were alone. Meaning he completely hid his true nature. It's an extraordinary feat. This clearly illustrates how unique his psychological state was. It's scary just thinking about it. And all this time, we never suspected a thing. Ugh, it makes me feel sick. What are we gonna do? Neither Tartarus nor the Dark Hour disappeared. Only our reason for fighting is gone. Ugh, this is pissing me off. Damn you, Kitsuki. Calm down, Yukari-chan. Getting angry won't help the situation. That's correct. It is best if we erase him from our memories. Yeah, we're not machines, so we can't actually erase him, but... It's a nice thought. Mitsuda-senpai seems like she's having a very difficult time. She can't seem to rely on any adults. I guess that's because adults don't seem to be very reliable these days. Yes. That's for sure. Mitsuda will be gone for a little while longer. Leaving her as B is the best thing right now, huh? I'm sure there's something more I could do. It's a very sad, sad mood right now. Understandably so, by the way. Understandably so. Alright, let's go get our weapon from the mall, and then we will... Hmm. I actually don't know what we'll do. I guess we could uh, do the Dying Man social link. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and hang out with uh, the guy at the shrine, whose name I haven't memorized yet, so excuse me. It is Sunday. We only get so many opportunities to hang out with him. And I already left the freaking... I already left the dorm, so I can't hang out with Maya. I'm doing better today. I know it probably looked pretty bad last time, right? I had been reading a book before we met that day. I got so absorbed into reading that I forgot to close the window and I didn't realize how chilly it was. Do you read many books? It all depends on the book. <laughs> I can definitely relate to that. A bad book is a really big waste of time because you have to get so far into it before you write it off. Akinardi nods knowingly. I read a lot of books these days. I find that they're the easiest way to spend my time, since I can get lost in a book's private world. Do you read books all the way to the end? Of course I do. I see. I don't like to see them end. I really get into the story and usually reach the end quickly, but I never want to finish it. Because if I finish the story, I'll be stuck here again, alone in my room, as Akinari, the person who can't escape his fate. Stories about hope or heroism. Those are the kind of books I read. <laughs> so hopefully if I do decide to finish reading them, I'll feel happy at the end when I come back here. I really hope this guy find some sort of res uh, peaceful resolution. I honestly can't remember if he said it's a terminal illness or not, but if it isn't, I really hope he survives. If he doesn't, if it is terminal, then I really hope he finds some sort of peace before this is all over. <sighs> Time is ruthless. It looks like the sun's already setting. I will have another chance to talk. We definitely will, dude. We definitely will. This is going to be the most depressing one yet, isn't it? Yeah, he's just really stuck on the topic. Alright, we should be able to go to Tartarus now, I hope. Uh, depends on what two members are sick. Oh. 
Okay, I immediately don't want to go to Tartarus because, holy crap, that would not be good for anybody. The fact of the matter is, I really need Akihiko because I do remember that the boss used a lot of lightning based attacks. So I'm going to need him and Ken in my group. Ken's probably going to be the healer. Hey, good news. Want to hear it? I know you do. I heard the boy who's transferring here today is a stud. Really? Are you just messing with me? No, I heard it from someone who saw him filling out the forms. Which class? 11th grade classroom F. Oh, well that's disappointing, but I'll go check him out later. Oh, so we're getting a new student today? I wonder who it is. The class seems unamused. <laughs> Please introduce yourself. My name is Ryoji Mochizuki. You are pale. I would be grateful if you could show me the ropes. <laughs> hey, he's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> You can hear the girls whispering. I wonder what Hikari's thinking. Nice to meet you. He seems to be looking in your direction. Ryoji lived overseas for a long time because of his parents' work. So he may not be used to all of our customs. Be sure to explain them to him. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. Okay, first custom. You have to lock lips with every person you meet for the first time. That would be one hell of a custom. But that one's open. Second from the left in the front. Um, Miss Toriyumi, technically that seat's taken. You must be present to be a member of this class, so as far as I'm concerned, that seat is available. Life is nothing but a game of musical chairs. The rest of you should be careful too. Wow, that's kind of... Wow. Good morning. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out on a date yet. Ooh, I guess is suspicious. A date? Guess what's wrong with you? <laughs> Rejected from the start. You're an interesting girl. Is this voice Zach from F at uh, uh, Crisis Core? <laughs> Your teacher understands, Argus. You haven't had very long to be the new student, and already you have to share the spotlight. I wish your classmates would pay attention to me for a change. Hey, are any of you even listening? Nope. Zoning you out. So apparently she thinks that new kid is dangerous. I wonder why. Mario can I talk to you for a minute? About what? Um, I don't want anyone else to hear, so let's talk later. I have to go to a meeting now, sorry. She was blushing. She was so hardcore blushing right there. Oh, hey, Nazumi. Oh, I'm famished. I'm going to try something special today. Would you like to come along? Hmm. So I have two different social links that I can work on. Quiet down, everyone. Just because we have a transfer student doesn't give you a license to misbehave. Anyone who doesn't settle down will be left out of the school trip next week, got it? Good, now let's begin today's lecture. And I fall asleep. Aw. If 
you must gossip about Ryoji, you can wait until the break or ask him in yourself. I don't know why I'm staying awake for it, because it's like I'm not going to get any academic points. Hey, you must be Ryokun, right? Nice to meet you. Wow, I never dreamed there would be so many cute girls at this school. I've already asked many of them out on dates. Wow, player. Yoji san is dangerous. I've reanalyzed him and detected him nothing out of the ordinary. However, I have a bad feeling about him. Well, let's not undermine that bad feeling. Alright, let's see what she wants. Never underestimate the power of a player. You hear the track team training below. Hikari is quiet. Forget it, I'm leaving, really? Um... Oh! Don't scare me like that. Hikari seems a little nervous. But, there's something I want to ask you. Ryokun... Why do you spend so much time with me? Whenever I ask you to do something, you say yes, and you ask me to do things sometimes too, right? So much has happened between us. It's because we're both Persona users, or are we just good friends? What do you really think of me? Lately, when I see you with Fuka, I wonder what you're talking about. I haven't even been hanging out with Fuka that much. It feels like someday my heart is going to shrink and I'm afraid I won't be feeling anything anymore. So, um, I want you to look at me the way I look at you, Ryokun. She wants me to look at her intimately. Now, if I go in for a hug, will I get rejected and have the reverse effect? I got level 9 with her social link. Will you... What am I saying? I've gotta go. Dude, we're so close to maxing out the Yukari link. Dude. What do you think about that Ryoji kid? He's going around asking out every girl he sees. Damn, I wish I had his guts. Not another one. <laughs> I can understand why y Yukari would be kind of unsure about him. And that Ryoji sure is cool. He's got all the girls loving him. Glad I finally have a rival that can stand up to my good looks. Oh god. Alright, we'll keep it in mind, I guess. I don't like how Ryoji Kun hits on all the girls. Well, he's pretty good looking, so a lot of them probably don't mind. Unlike Junpei, who couldn't keep a, keep a girl if he was the last guy on the planet. I heard that, Yukatan. How dare you say something like that about this hunk of burning love? Hunk of what? <laughs> oh god. Shit, who's still feeling sick? Ah, really? Oh. That blows? 